Let us pray. Come, Holy Spirit, open to us, treasure of thy wisdom. Feed the hungry, ransom our prisoners, raise up the sick, comfort the faint-hearted. Amen. What exactly is justice? Does it mean dressing up as a bat and taking down a crazy clown with your butler? Or is it flying through the city with a red cape and stopping your billionaire arch nemesis? Let's take a look at the definition of justice. The quality of being fair and reasonable or just behavior or treatment. Now you may say, I can't help bring justice. I'm not like Batman or Superman. Thing is, you don't need to have the ability to ability to fly, cling to walls, or a super high-tech bat suit. The only power you need is the ability to use your words and actions to make a change. From what I've seen on the news for the last two years, words and actions can make an impact on your community and maybe in the world. But there have been some people in history who use their words to persuade people to do their justice. A certain figure in power who used his words to bring justice to his country was responsible for killing six million Jewish brothers and sisters simply because they were Jewish. These are not examples of justice. This is an example of a greedy man using his words to gain power. Let's talk about actual examples of justice. Recently, Russian President Vladimir Putin has been responsible for killing thousands of people in Ukraine in a completely unnecessary war campaign. While in Ukraine, there, people have been fighting there. Here in America, we've been calling for the end of the war and justice for the people of Ukraine and the end of Putin's tyranny. This is what Jesus would have wanted from his followers. Simple people trying to make a change in their community and bring justice. Something I've learned over the years is that you don't need to be a person with superpowers to help out in your community. And that Spider-Man would be Batman in a fight but that's debatable. <laughs> There's multiple examples of justice in the Bible and the gospel. I guess you could say Jesus was a superhero. Hear me out, he does have awesome powers. I mean, he can heal people. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Jesus also had the ability to turn the elements of hydrogen and oxygen into wine. Not only can he turn water into wine, but he can walk on it. But with all of these powers, he still didn't use them for evil. Instead, he uses them to spread messages of love and justice to his followers, who we call the disciples. He also gives us multiple examples of how we can bring justice to our community. So when he was eventually crucified by the bad guys or the Romans, we would take on the mantle of spreading his message of love and justice all around the world. Unfortunately, there are some people around the world who use his messages of love to spread hate on different groups of people and limiting their rights, making, that, making him and his father look like villains. This is the reason he calls us to do good for the Lord. This is our call to justice from him. Simple things could bring justice to every community. For example, standing up for the oppressed, speaking out when others have lost their voice, or simply listening to someone's troubles and being a good friend. As people of faith, we are called in Micah 6, 8 to do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with God. In other words, you don't need to be bitten by a radioactive spider, get caught in a ca catastrophic lab accident, or destroy the multiverse. And though it may seem like the world's problems are as heavy as Thor's hammer, you don't have to be able to lift it all at once. The call to justice isn't a giant bat symbol in the sky. It's the desire to do better and to love your neighbor and care for the least at ease. It's deciding to walk with Jesus on the path to a better world. The call to justice has been dispatched, so it's up to you. Will you answer it? <laughs>